Hey there guys, and today I'm going to show you how to do this effect in Blender 2.49. As you see, it's just a, a gold texture. Um, that has a reflection um, in it. So, this is in, this is in 2.49B. Um, it'll work with anything from 2.4 to 2.49, I think. Um, and the first thing you will need is a HDR image. Um, I'll provide a link in the description. Um, which is called free is called hdrmill.com. I'll find a link to this in the um, description. And you want to take these one of these anyway. And I'm using this one. But you want to take one of these um, and just download it and so you can use it in Blender. So here is a Blender file that I have already done. Um see it doesn't look that great now, it looks pretty crap, like a yellow donut type shape. If I just render that out, you can see we get the um, gold texture coming on. So um just going to create a new um, document and delete the default cube and just a plane plain. so we can just lay it on and I'm not going to bother too much with the settings and stuff so default light will do fine um, so now I'm going to add a circle so we'll go to add mesh circle Oops. Um, the default settings are fine. Just might be at the radius a bit. Actually, I'm gonna down a bit. Um, so here is the circle, and now you'll want to just press extrude or E. Just press E on the keyboard, and then click only edges, and press escape immediately, so you don't extrude it. And just press S to size it up. Make it about ring width, but there, yep. And now, if you go into a side view or front view, and then just press A twice, deselect it, then reselect everything, and press extrude region, and just extrude it down to about ring height, and just move it up a bit like that. Now, if you render that, you can see that looks like crap be blocky and doesn't resemble a ring at all. So what we want to do is first um add a modifier down here in the modifier section. We'll add a subsurf modifier and then spout three levels is fine. And render three as well. And that's fine. Now if, uh, if you put into if you say it's a smooth you see to get these weird lines in it. And that's to do with the normals being kind of off. So you just press A whoops so, select the um, ring, press tab to go into edit mode. Actually, I shouldn't have applied that. So, I'm just gonna do the subsurf modifier again. Don't want to apply it like I did because then you can't do anything really with it with the one to do later on. So. I don't see my fourth, we say it's just move to get these weird lines coming up a bit. To fix it, just go to tab and go to edit mode. And with that everything selected, if it's not, just press A and then A again, select everything. Press Ctrl N and then click, whoops, Ctrl N and then click recalculate normals outside. And that'll just um, get that back to there. Now, this looks pretty good, except most rings aren't curved on the inside and they're also I'm gonna get a bit more definition on the outside as well. So we press tab and then control R to add loop cuts. I'm gonna add two in the middle just to make it flatter in the middle. Um yeah like that. So you see here we have um three in the middle here. So the three two in the middle so it makes it flat and I'm also just gonna add um one on the outside just to give that a bit more definition on the outside. Yeah, well, that's alright. And now what I'm going to do is, if we render that out, we can see 
that we have it looking okay, but it's still not the best it could. Um, we still need to add a texture to it and the image. So, what we are going to do is go down to the image tab, select add new, and then change the color to where you want. Um, if you want to make silver, you'll change it to grey. If you want to make bronze, you'll change it to like a bronzy color, but I'm making gold, so I'll change it to a gold color. So I'm on the green side. Yeah, so that looks okay. I could go with this colour, but still doesn't look too great in the ren in the render. Um, see, it's all like strange, and that's not what goes look like, like at all. So I'm gonna add a um, image that I downloaded onto this to make it look like a reflection, like it's reflecting something off it, which gives it a lot more really really realistic. Makes it look a lot, lot more realistic anyway. So when I go over to the textures tab, I'll press F6 and go to add new and change the image type to the um, texture type to image by clicking on it and selecting image. Um, and I'm going to press load and select the um, thing that you have at the church, one I've got here. You just want to select that and add it. That's still not done. Um, if you press F12 and render it, we'll see that it's just rendering the image and not colour whatsoever which frankly looks okay he trying to go for a bronze effect but it doesn't look good for a gold effect so when we go back over to materials and go to the texture tab and click map to and we can change the colour down um, so it matches it and then spread them out we can see what happens yeah so that's giving it a bit of the colour and a bit of the image so that's okay um, now on the map input, I'm going to change it to the reflective button down here, which makes it look more like a oops, it look more like a reflection. And I'm going to change the input type to sphere. So what that looks like, and a quick render. Mm, it looks okay. It's not clear up on the top though, so I'm just going to use the offset buttons here and move up on the z-axis by a bit. So it moves up, so it should come up from the top. Hmm. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, tips: you can go over to, uh, I think it's, go over to the shaders, and down here you've got the emission value. Um, and you can change them around. You can, oops, you can change that, and you get like it increases the color of it. See now we've made quite a bright. Gold ring, but that's not what re that's not what real gold's like. Real gold's quite um, dark and it's got a few imperfections in it, but can't really create that in Blender without ha having an, a gold texture to apply to it. So just put that by down to zero. And you also got the ref, um, and that just seems, that that just bumps up bumps the whole thing. Like even the image to makes it a bit shinier. Um, well, if we just put it down, ah oh, shit. Oh, that's alright. So, um, just so we can put it all the way down, and it just increases the lighting on, on it basically. And I'm gonna make it all black, or I'm put that back to point eight as it was full. Actually, it might just bring up to full. Increase the lighting on it, and here you got color and spare and mirror. Um, I'm gonna change the mirror factor as well, and I'm gonna make it a slight grayish. Slightly grey colour, um, so that should hopefully just yeah, that'll slightly increase it by um, putting like a grey sort of dampening on it. And they don't really make that much of a difference, but I think they do. So that's how to make a gold texture, and you can play around with these settings to find something you're happy with because everyone's got their own, own, own idea what gold looks like. Um, I'm actually just gonna bring in the colour a bit because it looks a bit. Yep, no, right, that's what you got to remember about Blender. Whatever happens in the 3D viewport is not necessarily what you're gonna get in the render. See, so it's still looking a bit. Um, still looking a bit strange, a bit 
dark and then render. So I'm just going to put the emission up a bit to about there. So we can just colour it. Now what you No, that looks pretty decent. Goldish colour, it's a bit light, but mm, it doesn't look too bad. So, it's taking a bit longer than I planned, but that's all from me. Please comment, subscribe for more. Um, 